Hey, good Monday morning. It's the 16th of May, and this is becoming a morning routine with these two. Actually, I think Hilo just doesn't want to play. He keeps growling at them. But um, one of the things I did this weekend, I built one of my sets from uh, May the 4th, which was the uh, Mandalorian armor set. It's actually a pretty good set. Nice little, it's fast, it's about, what, 280 pieces? And, uh, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of detail in it. I like that these drawers open up. A few, few too many stickers, I think, but good minifigures, good pieces, I think. Good, fun build. Oh, you two, will you two stop? Got, uh, got to get uh, my orders done today. Got my, uh... Timesheet printed out for my son. Got all that taken care of, so we're good to go. Had a pretty busy weekend outside. Didn't do much down in the store. We got the uh, got the pool open, and we got these lights strung up around in here so that we have a nice little area for our hot tub that we just got set up a couple weeks ago. What is with you two? Just keeps coming back for more. All right, I gotta get those orders pulled. All right, I was just about to turn this on and I realized I hadn't even talked about this. So, work gave us new M1 laptops and said if our older machines were older than three years, we could keep them. And so, I got this all erased and I was setting it up and the remote management tools kept coming up, which meant that, um, this computer was in their system. So I had to request to have them like release this from their enrollment. And that took two weeks uh, to get somebody's attention to say, hey, take this off. But finally on Friday, I think it was, Friday they released it. And over the weekend I was able to, um, hey, 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 that's a little, you're being rough now. Um, and they just go right back at it. They just don't quit. I was able to get this set up and um, we're gonna use it for pulling orders. My Chromebook actually, I've sold. I haven't sold it yet, but somebody's gonna buy it. Well, my wife's girlfriend's gonna buy it because she needs something to, just something very basic. So I'm gonna sell that to her and I got a free Mac laptop. So I'm pretty excited about that. Had a note on this order, it must be from a buyer that's got burned quite a bit. Uh, the black diver torso is critical to this order. Please confirm before shipping it is correct version without gauges. And unfortunately, so he's talking about, uh, which one? This one. So that's the tors diver torso that he's talking about. And of course, mine has the gauges there, so you can see them in the right right corner so I messaged this buyer and asked him what, how he wants me to proceed I'm gonna assume he's gonna want to cancel this order which is perfectly acceptable I've had orders where the main piece the main reason why I went to go order that piece was damaged or not the right piece or something and made that entire order sort of like worthless right like are these pieces just to make it worth shipping who knows right like but I'm definitely not going to uh, penalize this guy. If this is the one that he really wanted and I could not provide it, then um, I will gladly re cancel it and restock the, the stuff. I didn't. I don't have a lot to restock, just a few pieces, but I stopped when I got there and I was like, you know what, I'll probably cancel. So I'm putting those aside until later and then uh, we'll figure that out. Got some minifigures rebuilt. I got four rebuilt, and I think I got uh, two or three that need parts. Did place a couple orders. Hopefully, uh, I can get those in soon. This minifigure has caused me issues, and it's just because I've duplicated this card. And for whatever reason, I took the card the last time I did this. I filled this, and then when I went to go put it away, I realized I already had it listed. Instead of throwing this card out, I just put it back in my box here thinking that, oh, I'll just cross this out and write another number. Well, it's been so long since I did that, that when I went to go rebuild, I grabbed this card and I'm like, oh, I'll fill, fill this minifigure. 
And when I, did, when I went to go relist them, I realized these already listed. And I realized I've done this again. So that, uh, the card's going in the garbage. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes. All right. Update on this order here with the, uh, with the torso. So I figured out why I listed this wrong. So without the gauge like this, this torso comes in yellow hands. With the gauges, this torso should come only in black hands. So the wrong hands are on this torso. And so when I looked them up, like you, you just, all you see is this, this one torso, but you don't, you don't need to really look at it closely because this is the only one listed. So, um, yeah, make sure, make sure all the details are right when you list something because apparently a lot of sellers are doing this. The, uh, the buyer got back to me and said, this, I was the fifth seller to have listed this wrongly. Um, so that's, that's, that's a quite of a problem there that we're just rushing through this to get this listed. So he wants the rest of the order. So I will pull that out. I will actually put the right hands on this and get this relisted. But, uh, I had to figure out why, why this was, why, how I listed this wrong and I figured it out. So there you go. Details matter. One of my wife's friends went to Hershey PA this weekend and I asked my wife if she could give me a kiss. So, <laughs> after I got smacked, she asked her if she could give me some Hershey kisses. This is bad for me, guys. Very bad for me. But I like it. Got an email tonight that said that on this order, I only gave them one of that white slope curve. So, trying to figure out where I went wrong... Um, if I only gave them one, like nothing on the order makes it seem like I missed, just misread the quantity. So I just must have assumed. So I pulled out the drawer and I'm just going to count them up. I'm going to send the part regardless, but I want to make sure like it's, it was definitely my mistake. I'm pretty, pretty sure it was just me describing one piece, but I'm going to count it up and see. So I should have what? 73 pieces there. Let me just click on it. Yeah, 73 pieces. So I'll count that up, make sure there's 73, 74 pieces there, and then I'll just send the one out there to them. Unfortunately, I have 73, so I don't think I screwed up here, but I will send them one anyways, uh, give them the benefit of the doubt. But uh, I don't think this is an error on my end. And before I go send it out, I did send them an email asking them how many they received and confirmed that they only bought two parts. So I just want to make sure that they didn't misread that before I just go and send them a part. So I will let you know how this plays out. Well, they got back to me and said they only got one piece, which I'm not quite sure how that happened, but I uh, wound up sending it anyways. So I even checked my cart to see maybe if the part just sort of found its way on top of my cart somewhere and I couldn't find it and looked all over the floor. I'm, I'm not sort of questioning the customer. I'm trying to figure out where I went wrong um, to see if, you know, just to learn from the mistakes. So if anything, customer service should be about learning from your mistakes. So trying to understand what went wrong, how it went wrong and how to fix it. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm not questioning the customer. They only got one part. I get that. I, I agree with that. I know a lot of sellers think that like customers are scamming them all the time. I don't think that's true. I think there's a few bad apples, but I don't think every customer is like that. Could this one be a bad apple and trying that? Could be, but is it really worth $3? I don't think so. So good customer service, just send them the part and be done with it. My first order for Tuesday has a note that says, please write the order number somewhere on the outside of the package if it's not already part of the shipping label. I understand that pain. I get too many orders where I have no idea who the, or what order it is uh, until I start comparing parts to the order. And that shouldn't be that difficult. There should be an order number somewhere in or on the package. So I totally get it. But thankfully 
you know, I don't need to do anything here because I've already got the order number being printed on the label as part of, uh, you know, the pirate ship and the data that gets ported over into it. So I'm all set right here. So I'm just going to finish this order. Thanks everyone for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to Ralph's Bricks YouTube channel by clicking our icon here. You can watch our last store vlog video by clicking here. You can watch the latest video that we've produced here. And don't forget, you can find us at ralphsbricks.com.